And a rebound underneath by McGuire. Bargnani fakes the three, puts it on the floor, steps in and hits over Millsap. Yeah, extremely skilled offensively. Bargnani, former number one pick, a seven-footer that can put the ball on the floor and great shots for himself. Matt, he's been in double figures the first six games of the season. Averages over 17 a game. Shots off the rim. And that's one part of Hayward's game that's been a little bit rough to get going with in this early part of the year from three-point land, only 26%. Well, the Jazz as a team really have not found their groove shooting, only 44%. Haven't found their groove also from behind the arc, less than 30, and there's a foul out front, three shots. And the foul's on Millsap. Oh. Former one, first round draft pick here in Toronto. Went and played in Europe last year. And many believe he'll be one of the biggest breakout European winners. Bargnon is on the free throw. You know what, the big fella. Sometimes yeah, the big when you fella. cross over the Easter. That they're high on fifth pick of the draft two years ago. Toronto averaged 21 points. And then really hadn't found a stroke since. Jazz hit just three of their first eight. Toronto three of their first four, but five for five from the free throw line. Wow. Bargnani downtown, another but net. Seven quick ones. This is a seven-footer that comes off screens. He plays like a guard comfortable from downtown. And that's another $50 for the Huntsman Cancer Research Foundation from the financial experts at Mountain America Credit Union. Your home, your business, your life. Now Bargnani's going to remind Jazz fans. Calderon out front against Williams. Plaza just parks himself, man, on the in the corner. Bargnani to the rim and a foul. That's going to be the forge. San Antonio, Memphis. We saw Memphis last week. The Clippers at five and two, along with Oklahoma City. And if the Jazz can win on the road, I'm guessing before Christmas they slide into the top eight. Five weeks, that right knee, a problem. And DeMarcus Cousins has a confrontation with Sean Elliott. Now, he's the, the uh, analyst for the San Antonio Spurs, and he's out for two games. I don't know what went on after the ball game outside the team bus, but it didn't set well with whether this experiment in Los Angeles actually is going to work or not. Bowler, let's get some Lakers. We should. Let's, we're talking jazz tonight, Bowler. You know what, though? We talk about the entire world of the NBA. It's true. Bargnani, scooper, got it. You know why? Because it affects the Millsap, the spinner. He hits the deck. Now Big Al fires. Amir Johnson climbs the ladder, rebounds. And this far, game far from over. Under a minute to go. Utah clinging to a two-point lead in overtime. Bargnani, contact and a foul. Again, that's the old pro. Bargnani. Go get two. <laughs> Tied at 113. To go in triple OT. Calderon will inbound. Bargnani catches. He'll take on Favors. Puts it on the floor. Rolls it in. Blocked. Favors got a piece, but also got a piece of Bargnani. In doubt about how to win on the road. I think you're right. I think this could be a game that you look back.